Cellos, welcome back to another week of YouTube lessons with your favorite person, Mr. Ware. I miss all of you guys, especially my cello players. Um, okay, so we're in book two, the purple book. We are number 97 to 105 this week. I'm not sure what pages that are. They're also here in our Google Classroom. You can just uh, click on the screenshots. We're gonna talk about flat keys today, specifically F major scale and B flat major scales. So it's a pretty easy week, musically speaking, but intellectually speaking, it's a little difficult when we're gonna move some notes around. So bear with me. So let's talk about 97 F major scale. If you look at the key signature, there's no sharps. There is a flat sign. It's a B flat. So here's what's gonna happen. The first thing that's gonna happen is we get rid of the sharps. So everything's a natural. So we know in cello, F, C sharps become C naturals, two fingers. F sharps become F naturals, two fingers. Um, now Bs on the G string are usually three, but a B flat lowers it a half step so it becomes two. So already it's a little bit easy because it's just twos everywhere. We start on F on the C string, four fingers. And then, so if I play number 97 and just kind of walk my way through it, we have F4, open G, A is one, here's the new B flat, two, C is four, open D, and the rest, and we come back down. F, two, E is one, open D, crossover, four is C, B flat is two, A is one, open G, and four is F. That's the basis for what we're gonna do on this page here. And that scale is super important. If you can memorize that scale, and then I tell you, okay, we're gonna be playing this piece in orchestra, it's in the key of F. You're gonna be good, because you know where everything belongs then. Okay, so we all know my favorite uh, composer is Beethoven. It's his 250th birthday this year. This is a great piece. Forget about it that it has violin in it. We know about the violin. We're gonna play this beautiful melody on cello. There is only one note that isn't in that F major scale, um, and the last note of line number one is a C natural open C. So we're gonna use the same fingerings that we used in number 97 for 98. There's a crescendo, mezzo forte, kind of loud, crescendoing to forte, so we wanna build. There's a slur on the eighth notes that happens three times. Okay, so I'll play it through. Four beats, two, three, Four. Here's the open. Three beats on that dotted half. Okay, so there's F major. Now we're gonna start getting our way towards a B flat major, so we're gonna lower the E. So in 99, we're gonna be we're gonna make it an E flat. In your book and in the screenshot, it says X1, extended one. Well, we're used to going that way for extended fours, right? So when we do G sharps and all that, we go down a tape. Well, I don't usually call them extended ones. A lot of times we'll call them low ones, if you remember. So E flat, here's our tape. And we're going to go back, like to the top of the cello. We're going to lower it by sound. Right? So that's an E flat. So in this case, I would like you to play a low one. L1 we always mark. So we're going to start with that. So not on the tape, but backwards. So we've got E flats. More E flats. Now we're going to shift back to two fingers, F natural, G, F natural, and back to E flat. Make 
she go all the way back, please? That's an easy one. That's just getting to know the E flat. Okay, hot cross buns in a weird key. It's like you're back in third grade again, except in a weird key here. E flats. So it's four, two, low one. <laughs> Okay, so now we're going over to um, B flat on the A string. Same deal. It's a low one. It's actually the same thing as number 99. So there's not a whole lot to talk about. So you're doing low ones. Two. Fine. Number 102. There's, they keep calling them X ones, extended ones. We're just calling them low ones, whichever way you want. When they say X, they just mean you're extending it somewhere. You're in a normal position and you're extending up or you're extending back. And that's fine. I call them low ones. It's up to you. So we do low one and number 102. Back to normal for two. Okay, e, uh, so we did the F major scale. Big moment to get an F major scale memorized. B flat scale is next. Okay, B flat's got a little bit more of a complication to it in that we've got to extend back for those low ones now. So you'll notice in number 104, B flat major scale, there are two flats in the key signature. A B flat scale has B flat in it and E flat in it. So we're gonna start on a B flat, two fingers on the G string. Then we've got four for C, open D, low one, back E flat, two for F, not sharp, natural, G, open A, and E flat, lift, bow lift, come back down. culmination for this week and then I'm going to ask you to do one more thing for me Slovakian folk song all of those x ones they're the z flats there are no a a string b flats all the b flats are on the g string here so they're just twos so the only low one you're going to have is on the d string it's allegro so it's a little bit on a faster clip be careful that on the eighth notes that you're not using a ton of bow. It will not sound good. Use about two inches of bow. So I'll get you started. One, two, three, and four. <laughs> Here's the next step for my fifth graders like uh, Jessica and Valerie who are trying some more, um, trying some more vibrato, Alex Quinn. Um, I, I know you guys can do this too. Robert, I know you're a little bit, you started a little bit late, but you can do this too. When um, And JJ's already doing this. Vibrato. I would like it if on your scales, you could pinch that thumb and those fingers, keep your elbow out, and work on some slow vibrato. Anybody can fake a fast one. That's not what we want. Work on a slow vibrato. Breathe. Everybody tries to... Try to get it to work, and then the vibrato doesn't work. Breathe. Nice and simple and slow. You're turning a doorknob. Turning. Notice when I turn a doorknob, my elbow doesn't look like this, right? Just my wrist. So my wrist is doing the movement. So would you please work on some vibrato? I would love it if I saw your scales this week and I saw some cello players with beautiful vibrato. 
So happy practicing. Comment to me on the classroom if you want some help this week and I will be there in no time to help you. Happy rainy practice week.